Have you ever come across a TV series that transported you back in time, allowing you to relive the nostalgia of the 1950s, even if you weren't around during that era? If so, Happy Days, the beloved 1974 television series, probably needs no introduction. This iconic show, set in the idyllic 1950s, brought the escapades of the Cunningham family and their friends into our living rooms, offering a wholesome dose of laughter and life lessons. Now, let me pose a question to you. Can you share a personal story of how this TV series has inspired or impacted your life? For many, Happy Days wasn't just a show. It was a cultural touchstone that resonated with people of all ages. Whether it was the cool and suave Arthur Fonzie Fonzarelli, the wholesome values of the Cunningham family, or the relatable teenage experiences, the series left an indelible mark on its viewers. As we delve into some interesting facts about the show, we also want to hear about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Happy Days. So, please share your stories and memories in the comments below. Let's celebrate the enduring charm of this series together. Did you know that Happy Days was a spin-off of another popular show, Love, American Style, and it initially started as a one-episode guest appearance for the character of Fonzie? But Fonzie's popularity soon led to him becoming a central figure in the series, and the rest is history. The show's catchphrases, like I and Sit On It, became part of the cultural lexicon and the iconic jukebox at Arnold's drive-in was a symbol of teenage hangouts. So, let's embark on a journey back to the 1950s with happy days, and relive the moments that made us laugh, learn, and appreciate the simple joys of life. Share your stories, and let's keep the nostalgia alive. It's time to celebrate happy days. Happy Days, the iconic 1974 TV series, created by Gary Marshall, is a timeless portrayal of the 1950s American nostalgia that captured the hearts of viewers for over a decade. Set in the wholesome town of Milwaukee, it centers around the Cunningham family, particularly their son, Richie Cunningham, and his best friend, Arthur Fonzie Fonzarelli. The show's unique blend of humor and heartwarming moments, combined with a catchy 50-second soundtrack, defined its style. It not only provided a humorous look back at the 1950s, but also addressed relevant issues of the time, making it both entertaining and thought-provoking. The show's iconic characters, from the cool and leather-clad Fonzie to the lovable and awkward Richie, left a lasting imprint on popular culture. Fonzie's signature catchphrase, i.e., and his ability to fix anything with a snap of his fingers became cultural touchstones. The Cunninghams, Potsy, and Ralph Malph, along with a charming supporting cast, contributed to the show's enduring appeal. Happy Days not only catapulted Henry Winkler to superstardom, but also launched spin-offs and even influenced fashion trends. With its feel-good nostalgia, relatable coming-of-age themes, and unforgettable characters, Happy Days continues to be a cherished classic, defining an era and influencing subsequent generations of television. It's a testament to the enduring power of this timeless series in the realm of popular culture, and it remains an integral part of American television history. Richie Cunningham's favorite song is Blueberry Hill by Fats Domino. This 1956 classic tune holds a special place in Richie's heart and is a recurring theme in the series, adding depth to his character and connecting the show to the timeless music of the era. Happy Days, a 1974 TV series, beautifully captured the essence of 1950s American nostalgia and remains a cherished classic in television history. The show was a delightful mix of humor, heartwarming family moments, and a wonderful exploration of life in the 50 seconds. Its iconic characters like Richie, Fonzie, and the Cunninghams, along with unforgettable catchphrases and memorable scenes, have made it an enduring favorite for generations of viewers. The choice of Blueberry Hill as Richie's favorite song not only paid homage to the musical landscape of the time, but also added a layer of sentimentality and charm to his character. The song's romantic lyrics and Fats Domino's soulful voice perfectly encapsulated the innocence and idealism of the era, making it a fitting soundtrack to Richie's journey through the ups and downs of adolescence. All in all, Happy Days, with its lovable characters and timeless music, continues to be a beloved show that captures the spirit of the 1950s like no other. This connection between Richie Cunningham and Blueberry Hill will forever be etched in television history, reminding us of the simpler, more innocent times of the past. 
It's a testament to the enduring power of both music and great storytelling. This was in the final episode of Happy Days, Tom Bosley, who played Howard Cunningham, stepped out of character and turned to the camera. He thanked the viewers for being part of the Cunningham family for the many years the show had been on. This heartfelt moment was a fitting end to the beloved series, which captured the essence of 1950s American nostalgia and remains a cherished classic in television history. The show, created by Gary Marshall in 1974, was a delightful mix of humor, heartwarming family moments, and a wonderful exploration of life in the 1950s. Its iconic characters like Richie, Fonzie, and the Cunninghams, along with unforgettable catchphrases and memorable scenes, have made it an enduring favorite for generations of viewers. This unique connection between the actors and the audience, exemplified by Tom Bosley's final address to the viewers, is a testament to the show's enduring power and its place in American television history. It reminds us of the simpler, more innocent times of the past, and the impact of Happy Days on both its cast and its audience is a testament to its lasting legacy. In the 1974 TV series Happy Days, there's an interesting behind-the-scenes fact about the character Fonzie and his motorcycle. Although Fonzie loved motorcycles, the actor Henry Winkler was actually terrified of them. To shoot most of the scenes of Fonzie riding the motorcycle, they had to attach the bike to a platform and pull it with a truck. This unexpected detail adds a unique layer to the show's production and the iconic character of Fonzie. Happy Days is filled with such intriguing tidbits that give a deeper insight into the making of the series and the challenges faced by the actors. It's a testament to the creativity and ingenuity of the show's production team. Stay tuned for more fascinating facts about this beloved 1974 TV series. In the world of television, Happy Days from 1974 is an iconic series that brings back the essence of the 1950s American nostalgia. But there's an interesting behind-the-scenes fact that sheds light on the show's evolution. It originally started out being filmed with a laugh track and a single camera. However, in the 1974 to 1975 season, three episodes were filmed before a studio audience with three cameras as an experiment. This shift marked a significant change in the show's production style. Beginning with the 1975 to 1976 season, Happy Days switched full-time to the three-camera, live studio audience format. It's also when the familiar living room set arrangement, which became an integral part of the series, made its debut. This transition not only influenced the show's dynamic, but also contributed to its enduring appeal. Happy Days continued to capture the hearts of viewers while bringing the 1950s to life with its unique blend of humor, heartwarming moments, and unforgettable characters. The series remains a cherished classic, and its behind-the-scenes evolution is a testament to the show's adaptability and lasting legacy in American television history. So, next time you watch Happy Days, keep in mind the journey it took to become the beloved series that it is. It's another layer of appreciation for this timeless show. As we bid adieu to this journey through the time machine of nostalgia, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your own personal connection with the timeless classic. The 1974 TV series, Happy Days. It's a show that has transcended generations, bringing joy, laughter, and life lessons to viewers for decades. Perhaps it was the charming escapades of the Cunninghams or the iconic fonts that captured your heart and imagination. Now, I encourage you to share your cherished memories or profound thoughts about happy days. Did it bring you laughter on a gloomy day? Did it serve as a cultural touchstone in your life, marking a specific era of your own personal journey? Or perhaps it ignited a passion for the rock and roll era, leaving an indelible mark on your taste in music and fashion. Your unique perspective adds a layer of depth to the enduring legacy of this beloved series, making it all the more special. So, don't hesitate to share your favorite moments or musings with fellow fans as we celebrate the enduring magic of happy days together. Thank you for your time and interest in this journey down memory lane. Your contribution and fond memories are greatly appreciated, and they help keep the spirit of happy days alive. Until we meet again for another trip into the world of nostalgia, remember that your stories are what make this journey truly special. Warm regards and heartfelt thanks for sharing your thoughts.